All right, getting started programming with Python. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually download and install Python. So I'm installing Python 3. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to go through all of it. But you just click download, install it, and once you have Python installed, then you're going to need PyCharm. This is uh, an editor. This is what we're going to actually be writing our code in. So you're going to want to get the community edition, which is free and open source. So just click download, download it, and install it. I already have it saved and everything, so I'm not going to go through the whole process again. But once you get those things downloaded and installed, then we can get started programming. OK, so once we've finished downloading and installing PyCharm, we can open it up, and this is what it'll look like. So for the first program we're going to write, we're going to write a program that basically just asks the user what uh, is their name and how tall are they in feet and how tall are they in inches. And then once the user puts in all that information, the program will put it all together and write it out in a sentence. So why don't I show you what I'm talking about? So we'll start with making a variable called name equals input. What is your name? So let me just explain what this does here. So this part, name, is a variable. A variable is just a container for information. So this is the information we're going to be putting into it. It's going to be a user input. So something that the user types in is going to get saved into this variable. And it'll ask the user, what is your name? And the user will put their name in here. So just with this one line, we can just run this program and see what it does. So when I, when I run the program, it'll appear down here. So look down here. It says, what is your name? I can put in Miles. And then nothing happens. It's done. So let's, let's do something a little bit more. Let's do uh, feet. How tall are you in feet? So I made a variable called feet, which is going to be, actually this would be integer. Integer is a number. Because it's going to be a number for how many, how, how many feet tall you are. So integer input. So the variable integer, how tall are you in feet? So if you run the program now, we'll see it says, what is your name? Miles. How tall are you in feet? Uh, six. And then that's all. So now for the last piece of user input, we can say inches. And that'll be, it'll be um, another integer. Actually, no, it could be a float. A float is like with decimals, because you might be six feet, one and a half inches. So, you know, then, then you need to have a float. So this will show you how to do that. So input, how tall are you in inches? Yeah. So now if you run the program, let's see what happens. What is your name? Miles. How tall are you in feet? Six. How tall are you in inches? I'm going to do 1.1. So that takes these three pieces of information, but it doesn't do anything with them so far. So now we actually have to do something with them. So what we'll do is we'll type print. So that means Python will basically print out or uh, display on the screen anything that is in here. So print name, the same variable, plus uh, the text that says is. So it'll say, so this where it says name, it'll be miles is space feet for the feet variable. Feet is just text. And I'll put a, a comma right here so it's inside of the text too. And these commas here are just like concatenating it. Feet. Okay, so this is going to be printing out name is however many feet you put in, feet, inches, so how many inches, inches tall. So let's run the program and see what happens. What is your name? Miles. How tall are you in feet? Six. How tall are you in inches? 1.5. Miles is six feet, 1.5 inches tall. So that's what the program did. That's pretty simple, pretty easy, but... You know, 
we learned a lot of stuff. We learned about variables. We learned about user inputs, integers, floats, and print statements, and also concatenations. So I think that's a good place to stop for this video. But in the next video, we'll start to make more complicated programs that do more interesting things.